We are on the flight headed to Atlanta for TCF Style Expo. Everything went smoothly, getting on the flight, going through security, getting our extra seat. Just went between us. Traveling with my love. I love traveling with Carissa. Because I love traveling and I'm not anxious at all. She happens to be a little bit anxious, but I think that we balance each other out. For the first time, I'm not the anxious one. It's great. The only issue so far has been that this woman sitting next to us across the aisle started talking about how she's a diabetes educator. And I was immediately like, Chris, do you want your headphones? So yeah, we're excited. I'm going to try my best to vlog as much as possible for you and for me, for all of us. Because like, everyone should be able to go to an event like this. It's just like plus size babes everywhere, sharing resources, networking, and having a blast. So let's do it. Well, we made it to the hotel. It seems that everything is difficult in Atlanta. <laughs> everything is huge, everything is expensive, and there's no place to sit. They took all of the couches out of the waiting rooms. There's not even couches in the hotel lobby. That is so weird to me. You are so naked. Not very inviting, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not very inviting at all. Also, the airport's the biggest thing I've ever seen, and Update on my health. I'm not doing great. I have fucking asthma, but I haven't gotten an inhaler yet. So. It's been trying. But I think now that we're like cooling down, we've adjusted to the smell of the room. No, nobody's adjusted to the smell of the room. We're trying to adjust to the smell of the room. We've turned the AC down to a crisp 59.5 degrees. Uh, and we're gonna order some food because this bitch does not want to go anywhere. Me? Me. I don't want to go anywhere. We're gonna do that and maybe check out the pool later, but like depends on how far away it is from our room. <laughs> it's in this tower. It's in this tower, I hear. A little bird told me. It was the cuckoo bird. The cuckoo bird. What the fuck are we supposed to eat in Atlanta? Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna eat. Does nothing deliver? Do they want us to walk everywhere? Where are the fat people too? I thought they like fat people here. Oh god, they don't like fat people and they don't like nipples. That was clear. Because Carissa wasn't wearing a bra because why would you wear a bra when you go fly? Um, and I mean, we both never wear bras. Um, but she was also wearing this like, what is the, the fabric of that? I don't know, a dress that was a little bit clingy in the titty area so her nips were out. And I mean, they weren't out, they were secure. But people be looking. Are you ordering? Food. It's like in, in the Blair Witch, but instead of, I'm so scared right now. We're so hungry right now. We're fat and hungry. Greetings. <laughs> it's Friday. We pretty much just like ordered food and slept last night. Um, we went to the pool. That was fun. There's a hot tub. We're just getting ready right now to go to the blogger, blogger's mastermind, mm -hmm. uh, like hangout session thing where Carissa's going to answer some questions and I'm just gonna watch and be in awe of her because she's beautiful and wonderful and smart. You look cute. Doing your makeup? Yeah, babe. Wow. So, I'm gonna get some footage and I get to meet Elise today and Danielle and Kaya and Sabrina. It's exciting. I'm ready. We got that VIP beach. What you doing? Relaxing? Yeah. <laughs> Do you look weird? A little bit. Just taking a lean. <laughs> um, again, it, it's pretty obvious that if a message is repeated, it's going to be much more effective, right? Um, for success for both of you guys, because 
bloggers don't want to create content that doesn't get seen. They don't want to create content that isn't successful with their audience. They want to resonate. So creating that relationship where we both know each other, each other, there's a trust there. I can't tell you. That's that's where the money is. Someone whom I look to, especially like we'll bounce off like, girl, how you doing? How you doing this? And she's someone whom I really admire, especially since she's been doing this full time how long? Five years. Five years. She's been doing this full time five years. So for those of you guys trying to figure out like how the hell you can go full time, like I've been doing this since 2009 full time, and you've been doing this for five years full time. And yeah. Even that transition, like everything's always going to be scary, but we're just here to show and have. Have her share additional information to share her tips. So as we're asking, um, this is a lunch and learn QA, so this is very casual, kind of fun, get to know you. If you have questions, please raise your hand. Don't be shy, like this is why she's here. What was probably your first like, oh my god, I can really make money at this like experience? Like what was that moment? <laughs> Honestly, I made $25 on Amazon one month, and I was like, I'm Going to do it. I, was, I mean, $25 is happening. We are, oh my god, we are doing it. But the next month, I made $50. And the next month, I made $100. As soon as I saw those numbers and that you could like, quantify that anyone was paying attention, I was like, this is it, this is it, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, so we went to the Blogger Mastermind and Chris gave her a little talk and answered some questions. It went really well. I think a lot of the information I had access to because of Caressa, but it started some really good conversations, especially later. Just when like thinking about how to grow my business and be successful at making money doing this. This is our view. It's something concrete, but beyond that, there's Atlanta. We're trash humans, so that's why the hotel's trashed. We went to a mixer, it was very loud, met a lot of really cool people, everybody's very sweet. Limited seating. So that wasn't ideal. We forgot to grab three root beers. Oh, they were gone, I checked. Oh. <sighs> so now I think we're ordering in again because we hate going outside. Yeah, so I mean, cool. You know, I'm a little overstimulated. I gotta have my, my alone introvert time now. Bye. Well, good morning, friends. Last night was pretty fucking awesome. One of my favorite things about going to events in general where there's new awesome people that I get to meet that I have something in common with like being fat or being queer is how we end up always like hanging out in somebody's room until you know whatever time in the morning uh, just talking all night and laughing and having a good time I feel really like privileged to be able to be a part of that but yeah so we did that last night I'm pretty tired uh, Carissa woke up early even to go to um, hang out with her friend Elise from Ready to Stare. Uh, she's getting married and there was a pop-up, like a bridal pop-up thing. And so Carissa went to look at dresses with her uh, for her wedding, which is really cool. So I got to sleep in a little and we're going to brunch now. We're headed to the expo. We got the VIP. Baby! <laughs> <laughs> what? Come on. Headed to the expo. We got that VIP. There.
What's up? Hey, I'm Jay. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How are you? You remember me. Nice. I remember you guys. It's like after 2 a.m. We just had Elise and Sabrina here hanging out, chatting, and it's the last night of TCF, so we are heading out back home to Kansas tomorrow morning. Favorite part of the event was just being able to meet awesome folks and make connections and stay up late chatting with each other and bonding. So, gotta go to sleep now so that we can get our flight on time. Hey, what's up, friends? So we obviously, you could see I'm back home. We didn't film traveling home, and that was because I'm usually cranky when traveling home. Um, and also we had sort of a difficult time. It was a huge airport, and we were trying to get our needs met, and it was all very complicated. Um, but we made it, and we're home. But I just wanted to close it out and say thanks for watching. And if you like vlog-style videos, um, leave me a comment saying what you love about them, what you want to see, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hearts and rainbows. Bye.